Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the projects that I had on my portfolio website, you know, just before I got hired, because so many of you guys have been asking me like, hey, tell me what kind of projects did you have on your online portfolio just before you got hired and everything. So yeah, this is what I'm going to cover in this video. Some of you guys, <laughs> You have been telling me, oh, tell me why you don't update your uh, online portfolio and everything right now and why you don't retouch it. Um, I, I might do it, you know, soon, but at the moment, you know, since uh, I'm already in my second job as a web developer, you know, uh, I don't really feel like I, I need to do it now. You know, I, I, I will eventually do it, but since I'm not looking for a job or anything and I already have the experience, this online portfolio is just not going to do too much for me. But hey, let's start. So this this portfolio that I have in here, I built it in 2015, I believe, when I was starting to, to learn web development and everything. And the projects that this is not, nothing special, these um, these portfolio, as you can see, very simple. And uh, yeah, so this this was like the. Um, the projects that I had in here and I had a contact section in here which is working with PHP, PHP snippet that I found and okay so let's go through the um, projects that I had in here. First of all I had these uh, Google Maps API project so this was built in this was one of the projects of the Udacity front-end nano degree and um, when you guys are, this is just a tip, you know, when you guys are building your online portfolio and you are putting a project in, you shouldn't just put like a link to your project, you know, uh, like to, to see what your project actually is. You should create some kind of page just like this one where you, you give like the title of your project, you put like some, uh, some of these tags saying what kind of technology you are using, this project is using, for example, uh, Knockout JS, uh, Ajax, jQuery, Google Maps API. So this is just to let know the potential like, people interested in you uh, to see what kind of technologies you know and what kind of technologies you use for these uh, kind of projects. And then you can just like give a, a bit of an overview, like trying to explain and guide your, your viewer through what you did in this uh, project. And yeah, I'm just going to show you quickly. I have in here this folder that basically takes all the um, projects that I did in this uh, Udacity Nano degree. And this one, if I'm going to open it in here, yeah. So I built, I built this one was, um, was a Google Maps API for, um, for bars, you know, so since I live in <laughs> in Manchester, this doesn't look too great, you know, like visually, I mean, but what what is important is that uh, I built this using the Google Maps API and um, there is a search in here. I put, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, five bars. So we were actually, for example, if I click in here, you see, I could see the, um, the Google Street View an image from that and I can have like the the website and the, um, the address, the name of the bar. Look, I can close it, click, close, and I can do the same for all the other ones. So basically this is what we were building, you know, put put this kind of marker in the place where where is the bar. And then you have a sidebar here on the side that you can just like click, for example, if I want to go to the dry bar, I click it and it centers the image on it and same for this one and you can even use a search in here for example dry now it's just going to show this one if I delete this now I'm going to try elixir and I click is in here reset map it goes away so uh, yeah basically guys as you can see this was one of the projects I remember when I started this project, it was so overwhelming, you know, because in um, in the Udacity Nano degree, you know, the the skills in JavaScript they uh, 
they just increase project after project and you, and you need to do a lot of research on your uh, on your own i have here on the top even um it was a weather cut and it's not working anymore probably I, I would have to fix it because of the link the link is broken it was showing like the weather in manchester in here probably i just need to fix some some link in here but yeah so this was one of the projects that i was i was putting on my portfolio showing showing to uh, potential you know like employers or whatever or companies that wanted to hire me that okay i know how to use jquery ajax knockout js at that time was popular was I, I don't know if it was yeah 2016 in the beginning when i did this you does nano degree i know how to use google maps api and other apis in general so yeah this was one of the projects that i have in here you can see that i have a website <clears throat> Actually, this link is broken because uh, it was just like a temporary link on my uh, on my host. And then I have my GitHub that you can go on my GitHub and actually see my files that I have in there. And yeah, basically that's it. Okay, so for project number two, I I did this one. It was a 2D game development. It was a, oh. <laughs> This was one of the hardest projects that I have done in the Udacity Nano degree. So this, um, this one, I'm just gonna show you. If I click in here, so this is arcade game development. So basically we are using something called the HTML canvas. And the HTML canvas is something that uh, is a new feature of HTML5 and allows you like to build games on the browser you know if you like to build games this is something for you you can just like use javascript and this html canvas and you can build games or drawing things drag and drop so uh, html canvas is really really amazing i'm actually starting to learn a little bit more about it because i i want to do some games for for browsers you know it's quite fun as well so yeah, this was another project that I did. And let me show you in here, um, Arkham Gate clone. So yeah, it, it's very basic. I remember at the time I was so overwhelmed, you know, because you need to know everything like in, in uh, JavaScript, how, for example, now I'm gonna press on my keyboard with the arrow up, look, and he's going up. And then you need to like uh, press the arrow right to move to the right. You need to check a lot of things that for someone who is just like starting to learn um, JavaScript, I, it's so overwhelming and difficult. You know, I remember I was like, <gasps> I'm so lost. And yeah, I, I saw some projects from other um, other students that, oof, oh my God, they were so much better than mine. This this is kind of basic. So basically the, the objective of this game is you are generating like these enemies like randomly at random speeds you can see that they all have like random speeds and you have to like just like go up and down or to the sides trying to avoid the the ladybugs and trying to reach the water and what some of the other students did that this was a little bit more advanced is like whenever you reach the water you win you know so you could put something in here on the um, on the screen saying saying something like number of wins or you can put for example your number of lives you know you could put in here heart one heart two heart three you know just like in the regular games and if you are hit by a ladybug you restart you see you restart from the the beginning so this this seems like uh, <laughs> i don't know if it sounds easy or not but for me at at that time was so hard you know to build this this simple game and you know like to detect collision you know like whenever the the ladybug hits you you need to go back to the beginning it means that you lost so yeah there is so much potential you know to to do in this game so this was another project from the udacity nano degree um and and yeah so uh, <laughs> I actually should should uh, complete this a little bit more, but it was really fun to to build this, and you will learn a lot about JavaScript doing this. So yeah, this is another project that I had on my portfolio. Uh, I think I have, if I'm not wrong, GitHub. 
yeah, I have all the files in here on my GitHub. If you want to go there and check how, how to build that, you know, just to, to investigate the code that I built. Uh, okay, and the next project, uh, yeah, it was this one. Website, I, I know that the title in here is different because I've been messing up lately. So uh, page speed, yeah. So basically in this um, project now, if I go in here, was a project, project, web optimization. So actually, yeah, actually it was this project that uh, helped me get a job in the first place, yeah? Because this website in here was all about um, website speed optimization and, and the company that hired me for my first job, uh, I, was, I was doing um, a role of conversion rate optimization, you know, like to help to convert the, um, the pages like for e-commerce and stuff. And they needed a web developer that knows how to improve the speed of the websites and stuff. So uh, I had this project also from the Udacity Nano degree. Um, so what I had to do in there, let me just open this. So if I open this, it was this one, Cam's Pizzeria. So uh, it's a little bit different now. I don't know what I did, but the, the pizzas that you can see in here, they were all like just spinning around. And you want to, you know, when you are scrolling down the page, um, for the, the, the page to not be lagging or anything, you know, the, the more pizzas you're going to put in here, I think these ones are added with JavaScript. You want the page to not be like um, laggy, you know, like slow and everything. So uh, I had to do a lot of optimizations with the images itself and with the JavaScript and also going here with the, um, the inspector, you know, with the Google, <clears throat> with this one, with the Google uh, console and everything with the devel developer tools, I mean, with the developer tools and, uh, you know, just going around here and test. There is something in here. If I remember now, sources. I think this is a little bit. So performance, yeah. I had to do something like this, if I remember correctly. I had to put like record. And now I press F5, you know, like to load the page. And then I stop. And then I could go in here into the timeline. And actually, you know, just like starting to. Let me just move this in here starting to check like uh, these bits in here, like which things are taking the most time, milliseconds. How do I do a little bit of zoom in here? I don't, I don't even do this for such a long time that I can't even, yeah, look, you are checking in here, like whatever time does it take to parse the HTML and the, it was, it was a little bit complicated at the beginning, you know, or oh, look, look, you have a graphic in here, like, the loading time, it took like 3.4 milliseconds. The scripting, this is for the actually JavaScript running. And this is the rendering of the pages, like the images and stuff. The painting is like for the colors of CSS. So yeah, basically in here, you are just like checking the performance of your page. And what can you do, for example, to check, uh, look in here, the, the thing that is taking the most time is the rendering. And yeah, you can go after that and just like optimize your page and make sure everything is uh, is fast and fluid. So yeah, this this page in here, like this project, I mean, was like the one that helped me get my first job. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so basically all all of these all of these um, projects that I have in here, as you guys can see. Um, they were all from the Udacity Nano degree. And like I said, I, I really recommend these if you guys want to try out. I, I know it's a little bit expensive. I think it's like uh, $200 a month. But if you graduate under a, a year, I don't know if, if this uh, offer is still valid or not, but um, it's like $200 a year. And, and then um, if you graduate under a year, you get like 50% of your money back. So, for example, imagine that you, you graduated in three months. Um, you would spend like $600, yeah? 
but because you graduated in three months, which is under a year, you would get back 300. So you just pay, let's say $300 in total. You know what I mean? Because you get like 50% of the money back. So yeah, basically that's it guys. Um, this was the project, my projects from the Udacity Nano degree that I used on my um, on my portfolio and that I, I used it when I was looking for a job in, in the first time that I was looking for a job. And this, this was the project in here that helped me get uh, uh, a job, basically. Like I said, it was like um, just helping uh, optimize the website speed, the load and everything. So... Yeah, if um, I'm, I'm planning a, of doing um, a video actually about uh, the the differences like between the Udacity Nano degree and the Treehouse Tech degree. So if you guys are interested in that, just let me know. Or if you have any other videos that you want me to do, just let me know in the comments down below as well. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video, guys. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. You know, like I was just guiding you like through my my own experience when I was looking for a job in the in the first place like this was my kind of projects that I used if if I was starting right now like uh, from the scratch knowing what I know right now I actually would change these kind of projects a little bit you know for example in here okay I I I I, I did a website speed optimization but I would actually build like a, a real website, you know, like a, a real estate website or a, or a, a website for for a for a kind of like real company, you know, like a real website, not like this. This is just like a, okay, just like a, a simple project, but not not simple. Simply, I mean, like visually, but um, I would build like some kind of real project, like for a company, a real website, because. When, when you are going for interviews or when you are getting hired, most most of the companies, they want to see like if you can build real websites. So uh, if I was going to build now my actual projects, and, and this is what I do also for my students, you know, if you guys are still interested in becoming one of my students, just send me an email because I still have some spots now. Um, and yeah, I, I would actually like build real websites, for example, now, for this situation, I would build a website optimization for a real website. And that's it, you know. So, yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.